is there anybody who uh, who's uh, abstract i have corrected and they are around here uh, anupriya is there rajini is there rajini yeah go ahead go ahead am yeah rajini rajini continue i didn't hear you doctor what did you ask me to do you have your abstract ready you could present it yeah okay fine yeah so with everybody here yeah yeah start yeah so so good evening uh, everybody before i present my abstract for today i would first like to thank dr dps because uh, it is in the morning that i try to make an abstract give a title put my work in in a in the sequence but i was really confused and i was not able to do that it is then when i messaged uh, dr tps and uh, in the conversation itself he asked me to give some information and he called we called and we had a conversation about 5 uh, to 6 minutes and in that 6 minutes along with conversing with me he gave me a complete draft of the abstract of the work that i am doing so he, this is not my abstract it is completely dr tps who has helped me uh, work is mine but the drafting Uh, it is done in such a beautiful way, simple way that I am sure we are going to benefit all of us today who has something to present. We will all be benefit with the sequence or with the structure of the abstract that Dr. T P has has created for me. Even before I read my abstract, I would like to bring to notice because uh, I need to set a context for this about what I have done and how Dr. T P has has helped me to frame this abstract. I am Rajni Rao, an early educator from Mysore, and Kannada is our regional language. So when I go, I am also a phonics trainer in English. When I was training teachers in schools on English phonics methodology, the common problem that came across all the schools and institutions was the inability to read and write Kannada language. We had to attain the foundational literacy before the age of seven, but in Karnataka, even at the college level, degree level. teachers and students are making spelling errors in kannada and i understand i i i was again wondering why it should happen because most of them believe that the regional language language kannada doesn't need phonics so this was a very big problem because kannada is a mandatory uh, language to learn irrespective of wherever you come from one of the language to study in karnataka is kannada so everybody was struggling to learn this language and it it became a very boring subject monotonous subject non scoring subject teachers weren't able to handle this because in my research i understood that in ba da ntt any of the teacher training modules they didn't have a segment to teach this concept basic fundamental concepts so i studied over this i did my research i understood the gaps and i created my own solution known as coding phonics i created everything but i didn't know how to put it across in the abstract form and i was struggling since morning it is then when i shared with dr tps he he literally within the span of 5 6 minutes he gave me this abstract and i'm going to read this abstract for all of you now uh, i i'm sure that this will benefit each and everybody who is looking to present their abstract so let me read it out so, yeah rajini you are reading too fast i'll go slow i don't think uh, uh, it's very hard for people to follow and the subject is not that familiar to all right so line by line yeah the title suggested for my topic was challenges in learning kannada language the topic suggested was challenges in learning kannada language for children exploring solutions through coding phonics kannada abstract this research examines the difficulties faced by 4 to 15 year old children in learning the kannada language and explores potential reasons behind the challenges the study addresses concerns regarding kannada being perceived as a non scoring boring difficult exhaustive and complicated language it investigates the fundamental literacy requirements for kannada and explores the achievement of foundational literacy among children in karnataka The research also analyzes the main factors 
contributing to the failure in attaining Kannada foundational literacy and assesses the future prospects of Kannada as a challenging language. The study introduces a potential solution called Coding Phonics Kannada which aims to teach Kannada in the easiest, fastest and simplest methodology. It provides a detailed overview of the pedagogy involved in Coding Phonics Kannada, emphasizing a scientific approach, comprehensive process, logical implementation and structured learning. The research presents the different levels of learning including fundamental phonics, advanced phonics and complex phonics along with their respective components. Furthermore, the research discusses the significance of following a specific sequence in language learning skills for Kannada and the potential consequences of not adhering to the sequence. It emphasizes the need for a new pedagogy to achieve foundational literacy in Kannada and highlights the importance of empowering teachers in teaching Kannada language efficiently and effectively. The research also addresses the concerns of parents, educators and individuals regarding the future of Kannada and its preservation as a language with a rich heritage. The findings of this research offers insights into the challenges faced by children in learning Kannada and propose a potential solution through Coding Phonics Kannada. The research aims to enhance the ease of learning and teaching Kannada, promoting foundational literacy and overall language proficiency among the learners. Do you want me to read it once again, Doctor? I think it's good enough. It's only to tell that the objective is very clear, the methodology is explained and the possible conclusions are also made. I think similarly we have um, um, we have Vasundhara here around. Vasundhara also made an attempt. Actually Vasundhara and all what they did is they sent me a JPEG file, picture file, which I had to convert it into a text and then make it. Much worse was Anupriya. What she did was return on the news, uh, the paper and then take a picture and then send it to me. Okay, okay. And I was asking, send me a text. Again, she has sent a PDF file with all the, P all the JPEG files, all the image files. Then I did not attempt. I typed myself and then sent her back. Anupriya is around. Anupriya Sharma is around. Is it Anupriya Sharma? Yes, I think so. Yeah, sir, I have here. Yeah, no sir, Dr. TPS. Anupriya, read your abstract. But I did that effort because it's a beautiful subject. Okay, thank you so much, yeah. Dr. TPS. Your picture is not coming. Is it blurred? You have been uh, yeah, camouflaged. Yeah, some issue with, camouflaged. Some issue. Yeah, some, is, uh, some issue with my device. Okay, fine. So that's why yeah. camera is not working. Okay, go ahead, beta. Childhood education and early childhood care in India compass the nurturing and education of children from birth to 8 years of age. Family involvement plays a crucial role in supporting children's learning and development. The term family environment here refers any supported and supportive adult figure who is committed to a child academic, social, emotional, and physical growth, including parents, grandparents, neighbors, and caregivers. This, this study aims to explore child, childhood education and family involvement, examining the impact of family interaction on a child socialization and well-being. The objective of the study is to review existing literature on childhood education and family involvement. Focusing on attachment strategies, emotional regulation, and their effects on a child's behavior and cognition. <coughs> the method, uh, methodology and procedures used to meet the study objectives and describe, emphasizing the importance of family involvement in fostering trust. 
friendships and comfort among children the quality and style of the relationship between family members and children in modern society and are explored highlighting the significance of strong attachment findings su uh, suggest that family involvement is a powerful factor in a child growth and development during childhood parental involvement encouragement of psych uh, psychological autonomy appropriate age demands appreciation limit setting and monitoring contribute to positive psychosocial academic and behavior adjustment in children the study concludes that family involvement is crucial for quality education and recommends that parents provide emotional support to foster better attachment and balance in childhood education Mind yeah anybody else who has got um, abstract made or who wanted to tell something i am not uh, uh, seeing vasundhara vasundhara is there she could uh, come forward and then i think i got some three of them i treated but there are many more who had sent but it is too um, uh, too clumsy or cumbersome sometime abstract has to be a half page or one page ah yeah vasundhara is here vasundhara welcome good evening sir and good evening to everybody present here today um i would like to read out give me just 2 uh, seconds or probably 10 seconds to just remove it i mean while if anyone else wants to uh, have a word there is a great joke um, the god has got a bigger scale than human being understood uh, when we uh, go and ask god god please give me this god will say wait one second because in god's time scale one second is three or four janmas for us so when you wanted to get it it takes another three four janmas <laughs> so, I, so I the time vasundhara speaks 10 second two seconds is almost one minute right you don't wow, have to tell. So, so before this janma gets over sir i am ready to <laughs> Yeah, so I'll read on. If uh, I don't know if it is precise. Uh, thank you, firstly, that uh, you've helped me sort it out. Also, so I begin with uh, play-based play interventions for differentiated uh, instructions with the purpose of absorption learning. This paper explores the ex understanding of learning styles for differentiated instructions through a methodology known as play with a purpose for independent study. The key objectives of the research are to define and classify learner diversity, investigate learner-centric approaches for differentiated instructions through comprehension of learning styles and inclusive pedagogy, explore solutions for broader learning learner achievement by changing educators' mindsets, and integrate play with a purpose as a constructive remedy for independent study using indirect instruction and experiential learning. The research methodology. involves conducting surveys in school and universities to identify students learning styles discussing and potentially redesigning lesson plans pedagogies and learning styles and implementing appropriate interventions for remediation furthermore the paper emphasizes the importance of engaging educators as leader learners to cultivate a growth mindset and adaptive nature leading to holistic learner outcomes my basic two questions uh, which would permit my objectives are Firstly, can play be an integrated ed tool? Can we add purpose to play for all level of learners? Second is uh, broadening the first question: What is the play-based intervention for secondary and higher secondary learners? So PBI, that I short form, enables improvement in social, emotional, physical, language, and cognitive development through guided interactive play. As differentiated instructions and planning is becoming an integral part of teachers' lesson plan, the importance of play-based instruction uh, reflects the learning absorption through children playing together while learning to get along cooperate communicate effectively solve problem solve and resolve conflicts also my research on design execution and implication on learners will reflect the resource generation by using manipulatives such as mlbs 
symbolically, language and communication skill enhancements. Even furthermore, rolling it down to drama, role plays, uh, skits, etc., which will be noted as it at the learning stations that will uh, either be at the schools itself or at the uh, we may uh, bring it over. I mean, it could be designed over. As an academic ladder scores upwards towards secondary and higher secondary, PBI are often ignored or decreased due to academic synthesis through boards and examinations. Hence, research on PBI in this stage, that is 14 to 18, uh, though it is foundational, it is based on foundational, which we have voluminous work, I would also like to highlight this specific age that I am very keen into and I have had a action research also done upon 14 to 18 years will reflect whether to include more PBI techniques for play with the purpose or to retain the current flow of academic synthesis. The key objectives are to define and classify the concept of learner diversity, to research on learner-centric approaches through learning style comprehension and inclusive pedagogies for differentiated instruction, Third is to research a solution for broader learners' achievement through change in the mindset of educators. And lastly, to enable our play with the purpose as a constructive remedy for independent study through in indirect instruction and experiential learning. So this is the base of um, uh, what I would want to research over. Um, and the base, but natural, is the foundational years, that is the early years. And uh, it envelops primary um, sorry, pre-primary, primary, secondary, and higher secondary. So the role and the experience that I uh, uh, sort of have accumulated over these years have made me always in a reflective mode that it is a cycle, it's a circular path. That if the roots are to be, uh, uh, you know, founded well and nurtured well, then somewhere we do have the stem or the branches also, uh, you know, a little uh, to tend about. So why not have a circular path and uh, since we all are concentrated on our foundational years, we also have a reflective research if we can move over to the primary or the secondary, higher secondary. So um, this is my abstract, my learning objectives and of course my proposal and my area of interest. No, I think there is, there has to be some correction. You cannot say this is my abstract, this is my proposal, this is what, you have to be very specific. Um, abstract cannot be more than a page. There cannot be more than 10 sentences. Maximum 10 to 20 sentences. It cannot be all, all, more than a page. And it has to be very, very uh, object is this. The scope is this. The methodology which I may adopt, not necessarily, you could change. Because it's only the first synopsis. It is not even the abstract. Though we are calling it abstract, if you have not finished your conclusions, you have always a chance to rewrite your abstract. Because the conclusion also becomes part of the abstract. So first what you submit, even when we submit for a PhD, we don't submit the abstract. What we sub submit is called a synopsis. There is a basic guideline. Vasundara has made it almost like a paper presentation, as if everything is done. So this this research methodology we have to go very systematically so today's aim is to give how to write an abstract how to make your objective and scope very clear what it so don't take a too large problem and then put it so many people have sent uh, so many have sent you know one two three four five six all that but then take one problem and say this is what we do very specific abstract is for a paper and each chapter, there can be six chapters. All of them put together in a thesis abstract will not be more than two pages. So that means six problems, two pages. So you can imagine how much will be the volume, right? So it is, um, I think all the people who are into higher education, every competitive exam, there is a great examination which is called comprehension. Everybody would have gone through comprehension, right? Yesterday also I told, when we work in the office, we have got huge file. Your ability to speak, to make it very crisp, clear, very short, is what is considered as an able speaker. So very, very precise. Actually, Anupriya's paper, if I send it to you, you will see that many things have been repeated many, many number of times. 
so what happens is when somebody reads no you understand because you don't make paragraphs oh all this concept in first paragraph the second paragraph contains the different concept separate them into paragraphs and then write it but when you write an abstract the whole thing is put into one paragraph or two paragraphs that means objective and scope my proposed data collection my proposed methodology this could be my conclusions because I, I, I presume that this will go like this and this will be the end not necessarily that's why I say it's a presumption yeah but the problems are very good I am so thrilled you know there are so many people who had sent me a lot of problems today also I, I, I think the book in which we can write volume can be huge you now yeah Rajani yeah, you have a hand yeah. up yeah Doctor, just now you gave a sequence of four. Just in the abstract, can you please repeat that? Just in, now. in the abstract. That is actually how the thesis is. Yeah. 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 I think this Pramalada has to be removed from the... Uh, Masuda, can you block? Yeah. Premalada, be careful. You come on to the video first. Show your face. Don't unmute your phone and be present so that all the other scoldings also can you can listen, right? Otherwise, you unmute and escape. The noise will be there and others will get disturbed. Be very careful. Um, abstract should contain the objective and scope. Objective is this is what I wanted to know. The intervention of or may the contribution of parents, grandparents, all of them in early childhood is my uh, objective. objective. What is the scope? Uh, therefore, in Anupriya's heading, she was too fast. I don't know how many of you got it. In Indian context is what I wrote, but very specific to Noida. That study is specific to Noida. So same abstract can be taken by somebody else and then see how it works in Jaipur by uh, no, somebody else. In your case, the Kannada can be replaced by some other language that becomes an abstract for somebody else. Understood? So every, every, every one should end the problem thesis with a scope for somebody else. Your scope is this much only. So I am defining my scope is not learning every language in the world in this methodology. I am only very specific. So scope is very specific, defined well. And now to conduct an experiment to understand, I need a data collection, a survey, data collection, survey, interview, questionnaire. Uh, first, yesterday we talked about the primary or secondary or anything can be there. That if I know, if I don't know, it doesn't matter. You don't have to include it. It's not a mandatory, but if you know, make one or two statements there one sentence there that's it finished then oh you know that no to analyze this data which i collected i need a methodology not necessarily you know the methodology but you must have uh, seen that somebody else have done this methodology this works well so let me try that methodology i can explain few things uh, as anupriya's case no when i was thinking little wider and wi wild and wider so that I can make a beautiful presentation on how parents can intervene and all that. Even there was a beautiful uh, subject suggested by the multicultural, multilinguistic, multi-language uh, and all that. You know, all that can be a problem wherein how am I going to use this group of people and which method I will use to make some conclusion. So there is a problem. There is a cultural problem. But there is no problem in the world. For every problem, there is a solution. So our idea is not to project a problem and say there is a big problem and then close the chapter. No. My idea is there is a problem. My job is to identify a problem. For what? Not to project and complain. I am, I am going to solve this. If you are not going to solve, don't tell the problem. So somebody told there is a big problem like this. I, I can give a solution for that. These are all the methods in which you can solve problems. You know? So that methodology can be adopted. Once you say that methodology, then if this is adapted, this experiment I conducted one week or 10 days or maybe three months or one year. Oh, this is what my conclusion. This is what I expected to happen. That is why I am using a method. It may, not ha may happen, may not happen. That's the end of the day. 
But today, as far as I know, for this lot, if I do this experiment, this will happen. And maybe after the research, you will say it did not happen. That is also a research. I, I used all this method but failed. Therefore, nobody in this world should try this. For this lot, for this condition, for this environment, don't try this. Can be a message to others. Okay, so everything is a learning. The scope is defined, objective is defined, data collection is defined, methodology is defined, the problem and solution is discussed in the chapter and that is the core, problem and solution. And then the last conclusion, result. I am going to argue because of this, because of this, it is wonderful, it is very good. Okay. Good enough? Good. Yeah. Good. Thank you, doctor. Now, if anybody has got some problems, I can describe it. Otherwise, I will take examples of whatever has been given to me by one or two people. I, have, I, have, I can take this example and then tell you that. Okay. First of all, there are a lot of people yesterday by the end of the day when I described the research and all that, there was a great concern. Is it our job? Is it that simple? Is it that difficult? Um, where is that encouragement for us to do research? Research is something big. Is it possible for all the uh, people like us to do this? These were all questions. Uh, therefore, I thought, no, I should encourage you to do a early childhood educator should do research. The basic reason is you are the people who have spent lot of years mingling with them, dealing with them. I believe medical science, doctors should do research in medical science. A new doctor should not enter from a university and then start doing research. Everyday problem, most of the social medical problems are dealt with the people who are on the ground. Now what you need a help in documenting, enhancing your experiments. You must have done a lot of experiments. In the classroom, every teacher does experiments. There is a, a book by me on the adaptive uh, learning and teaching methodology in which I talk about different styles of teaching deductive, inductive, apparent style, discovery style, all that is being explained there. You can read that. So, but these experiments every teacher does in the classroom. Now, my experiment is for a very set of people for a very specific problem. Whether that is working or not, how do I document this? With the young learners, with the parents, with my colleagues who are all working in the early childhood education. So, educators can do research on how educators should contribute, what methodology you should adapt, what could be the change in educator. One of the great thing what I wanted to tell and for which I have given one of the discussion which I had with one of the student today morning. It was so casual but the question asked was uh, do the, uh, the guide and the student or maybe guide and the researcher, the mentor and the mentee the teacher and the student, the boss and the subordinate, should they have some personal touch in their dealings or not? Personal touch doesn't mean that no, uh, too much of exploitation or not that. I'm saying, do, do, do you should uh, consider that he is a human being, I'm a human being or I'm a only a mission. See, for example, some people when they have sent abstract for correction or maybe something, no single word of appreciation of what happened yesterday. Correct this as if it is, uh, no, you are dumping in a uh, mission for creating a juice. You don't have to talk to the, uh, no, the juice making mission that you are so nice last week. The juice was good. You can just dump it and close it and switch on. It's like that. You cannot consider teachers are like that. Because what is expected is a human touch. Understood. So the early educator should have this quality. Why am I saying this to you? If you don't have that quality, your students will not have. Because that is what every day they are seeing. So experimentation, a re relatively a, a mode of change in your dealings and activities have to be very, very, very precisely watched across individual each other. If you don't do that, there is a bridge and there is a great gap. There is islands. Or you are not part of the system. You are not in the same island. No? So enabling documentation helps you to refine yourself in the way you are dealing with the people. Including your own students. 
so creating awareness is the part of doing research i don't know how many of you really understand in hindu mythology we have got brahma and his wife is saraswati the brahma is the god of creativity creativity is what is research education is the portfolio for saraswati if education has to be there research has to be there if you have only research and no education it's only brahma without wife we don't believe in such system we believe always a pair in our hindu mythology hindu belief system hindu ishwara hindu murti hindu bhagavan i don't use the word god by chance if i use it it is only for people to understand those who don't understand indian language okay so in the god concept of india when i say god all the other synonyms which i gave earlier is what is valid we believe that research has to go tandem with the education otherwise education will not be complete research will not be complete that is the reason which i say you are all teachers who are dealing with the students you should use this benefit the creative awareness highlight the benefit of the research share your success stories who else can do that you have lot of experience document them that is why i said sometime primary data is not necessary you can have go for a secondary data somebody's experience you can share it and then that can be documented that is why i said if somebody is ready you have got a few years of experience you have got a set of students together i am ready to invest my time to understand how your experience can be documented into a paper second one build your research culture so that professionally you can develop i remember many years back when i went to oman there was a post graduate who was in sociology was in a nursery school teaching something then i was making a very small joke saying that you know your students will pass nursery lkg ukg they just started the school we had only up to nursery lkg ukg grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 only up to that so very very minimum students so i was giving a workshop for the teachers so i told them your students will become past 10th class 12th class they will become degree they will become doctors they will become engineers and in your whole life you will become only a nursery teacher that is your fate because you are not thinking about your professional growth you are not developing yourself so professional development happens only when you educate yourself into higher in that whatever i talked about the methodologies which you use for your research data collection analysis forget about where you are working you yourself feel dignified saying that no i know the subject now and there are a lot of collaborative op opportunities i am sure we will not sit together like this unless we have got a, a problem to solve we have got a subject to discuss you will start collaborating with the people collaborating with the community you have to do research around the parents i am sure you will talk to them and there are a lot of initiatives in the research area in the whole world there are a lot of people like me who are ready to support you mentor you allow you to write guide so that you you yourself can become a guide tomorrow you can be a mentor for research there are a lot of open universities where they can no i am not talking about the facebook universities which are uh, now overshooting the world today recognized indira gandhi national open university sort of nationalized government ugc approved any university in working in india first look at whether ugc approved or not if it is not approved by ugc you cannot consider that as a university in india okay resource allocation you have got lot of time people think that no i i have sent today the abstract and then um, rectified and then said the teacher don't even uh, acknowledge it the two busy right i made one or two calls to say that did you get it or not no i don't know whether you got it or not because i wanted them to present it today no so it doesn't happen so the response is not there how do you how do you think if you don't respond see there are 70 people in the group when i asked all of them to send one message to me hardly 30 people have sent that 30 itself is a great number i acknowledge that no but what i appreciate is as teachers you don't respond to a message what will happen are you called yourself as a teacher is it are you so busy like modi modi is much more busy right but still he finds time for many people around i worked with the prime minister manmohan singh i have seen him how busy he is but still he knows dr tps personally he speaks to me personally i am sure he must be doing to hundreds of people like that right so understand you should have 
all the tools research tools materials support education data people but most of the people don't have time if you think that you don't have time you are the most laziest person that's what i believe so i you must change your standard you are not lazy then only you can make your children very active okay you don't have time to communicate to your students that means you are not fit to become a teacher in this world practical research approach one is action research which i told you that you no know, you can do experiments with a lot of activities around third one is observe it somebody else is doing you look at what is happening around the another one is the collaborative project like parents and associations the community around that decide what is that you want to do in your life then publications and presentations very very important to know how do you present if given i was talking to all india radio i was talking to um, radios programs see before the news 2 minutes is given to talk about the computer science so what do i do i talk about one small bit of a computer activity exactly 2 minutes you cannot be 2 minutes 1 second finished you have to be very precise if you are not very precise in your presentations and you want to do blah 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 i think you are not fit for making a paper presentation workshops conferences articles professional journal writing they will tell you 1200 words 1200 only 100 words 100 words only it has to be very precise and then the rest becomes the part of the policy influence how people can take you into consideration i am sure today we were discussing masuda and me were discussing is it possible for some of you who are very keen on research whether some phd can be obtained i am sure there are a lot of open universities in which we can influence talk to the vice chancellor get a approval there are a lot of private universities in the more than 700 universities in india is it not good enough to find out a collaboration with somebody else create a small infrastructure where people can do go and then do research i uh, use library everything is possible right so one example which really striked me was anupriya's in which the early childhood education and family involvement if you talk about family involvement now i am coming to one of the problems the family engagement effective strategies in which i can have a collaboration how do you positively impact this for Uh, changing the learning system and the development of the children who are with you that is the ultimate aim that's the scope very clearly objective is very clear now now why are you doing it you need not explain the abstract but you should have in your mind so that your data collection methodology everything becomes very clear the early childhood education is very important because that is the foundation for the whole life i will tell you 3 years if children are not attending schools that means their social skill is lost intrapersonal relationships are lost your psychological development doesn't happen therefore what will happen every child up to uh, maybe 3 years to 6 years they learn uh, 6000 words or maybe 10000 words if you don't interact with the people only with the family around that will reduce into 3000 so your neuro linguistic programming will change accordingly in the whole life your number of words which you can learn will drastically come down that, that is why you can see a lot of cartoons if children are seeing cartoon in hindi they speak hindi though they are not from hindi belt area so that cartoon speaks and that language is picked up very fast though you may not know the meaning you may not know the context but they may use those words in different contexts so every word which comes from the teacher they catch if you are not um, using the words in with uh, proper english i am sure the child will learn improper english and throughout life they will have this problem they cannot correct it later so you have a great responsibility the cognitive social emotional psychological physical spiritual all intellectual development happens during this time so somebody can observe it what was the impact after covid before the covid i had lkg class the children were like this during covid 2 years they missed the class today they are into lkg or ukg how the change has happened that means you have to observe you have to be very close to the children so that there long lasting positive effects and negative effects impacting the overall well being and development yesterday there was a question of well being okay so understanding the family involvement okay there was no class there was no school there was no uh, interaction between teachers and the students directly but family was there 
whether that participation impacted them how you can look at their learning skill experimentation on how the cognitive things have changed the communication has changed the participation of school events where you can bring in the family together to share their experience don't ask them for an interview probably you should ask them oh we have got a song competition for all the parents right you have got a cultural competition of uh, some activity there are a lot of festivals in india there is no depth for uh, festivals right at least 20 festivals every month we have two festivals call all the parents to your school engage them in the participative program as a community program in your pre primary primary schools then slowly the rapport will increase and then you will uh, understand you know at home what is that is being done without that rapport you call them for once in, once in a meeting and then start interacting i'm sure they will not tell you the facts and truths okay the enhanced learning outcomes the positive social and emotional development and intellectual spiritual um, all that has can can be understood by such interactions there is the, there is a lot of gap between the home and the school i am sure that has to be partnership program in which you can make this happen that is what is most essential right now uh, coming back to your effective uh, uh, communication which is not happening uh, that is not happening because there are few people who appreciated there are few people wrote there are few people who took the picture and then put it when i used today i wanted to post that video in which i wanted to use some picture of the audience i am not looking at the audience because my hands are here i am not even taking a screen dab i'm only recording it so while recording what will happen only the first screen will come but happily somebody has put some screen there i used it into the video in the first screen that is what i used somebody contributed see this is a great communication when you attend a conference taking a screen grab putting onto the group having all the modes of communication today you have to be very good technically if you are not good technically what will happen if there is an event you don't take a picture you don't put anything there so your people will not even communicate to you so there has to be a welcoming environment in which you become a proactive person that is very very essential right the you should have a lot of workshop in which parents are also made equal to you the parents education workshop should be there see that's why just now before the program from bead one um, one teacher was talking to me i know the school because i was there three days pa parents teachers students and one or two days going around and understanding talking to them the feedback many parents came and met me so i know bead school as it is that is why you can see not bead alone the group of institutions under bead in different charala uh, vijayawada all those people joined this program there are at least 20 people joined here just because i had a program with the bead i'm sure that is what created a uh, no rapo and how did i know them they had a principal conference in hyderabad in which i was a speaker and when uh, 100 teachers attend at least three principals come and speak to me that's good enough i spoke to hundreds of principals in uh, gulf what happened subsequently i went to kuwait and stayed there 20 days saudi arabia i stayed a few days because there are a lot of schools where they want me for their teachers training programs students programs so this is how you collaborate between people unless you communicate unless you take a proactive state it doesn't happen you have to have a welcoming environment see at least to start with in your school you can decide one day one parent can come and then sit in the class they need not interact they need not do any harm but you can make volunteers a parents day one parent one day maybe the too many people you cannot accommodate you know but slowly i am sure you can increase it if it is a positive thing so they will be there to supervise the food serving if you have got a canteen you can see that how they take care of the children all that can be there make sure that you no know, they will not only uh, pamper their child so that you can put in some other class so you can have a, a okay a rotating system in which you know some parent will go and sit in somebody's class you can create an environment where parents feel that no i can approach the institution that's also i'm we keep saying there are three pillar one of the pillar but we never see that pillar around you know it is only hanging in the hands of the teachers and the faculty that should not happen so there has to be a lot of activities a collaborative partnership supporting the diversity when you talk to parents when you talk to people around i am sure it supports the diversity 
because the parents may be from different language and they will also include their culture and if they don't include their culture you ask them oh you are from bangla why 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 we cannot have a program like this you are from jaipur why we cannot have a program like this you are from kerala why we cannot have a program like this no so involve people to make their i remember when i wanted to have six different songs immediately somebody came from uh, kashmir and said we need a kashmiri song so i included that then somebody else said we need a gujarati song i included that so that is how i included to different languages it is not that dr dps decided six languages these are all the languages from east to west south north india no i decided anybody who come volunteers i will put them into the sequence and then made a ethnic expo in america i stayed there only few months but that few months i could know the whole community around 300 people you can see that the priest in the church says that no we never had a such a person who can collaborate and then talk to this many number of people in the sh short span of this much so i am sure your involvement matters there are some stupid buffaloes in this world who think that when we interact with somebody involve somebody their authority is lost they will not allow people to do that ignore them the world is not very small 70 people or 100 people the world is too large you can find your own uh, your own world around which you can work as as much as you want so don't ignore such people who are not contributing who are negative in this world don't complain on them but ignore them that is the best thing so that it will not even stay in your mind okay so i told you there are possibilities of interaction from the parents as a childhood educator as an educator your quality has to be too good unless you know how to appreciate the compassion the small video which i put in the morning off hand i was discussing that is what i am repeating it again because even when i posted 70 people are in the group i have not seen 29 hits only seen on my video that means that is not from you alone the whole i can just make it 100 and 1000 it's not a big job but i just wanted to watch how many of you are very serious looking at it how many of you will comment only when i write you comment you comment it making a comment making an appreciation making a you know a communication matters a lot and don't send personal uh, no Com comments to me because it will not stay i will just delete all the whatsapp after this program but once you do it on the youtube it will stay there permanent so when i look back i will see oh i had a person suchita like this who attended from bid right i remember you throughout my life as long as i am living or somebody else will say oh there is somebody who is from bid attended your class and some student of bid will come back and say that no i am also a student from bid so your relationship with the earlier people will start generating so making comment matters a lot today morning i had got a friend who was 30 years old i met him actually his granddaughter was singing a song he wrote the lyrics he had sent me the picture so what i did is i played it on my tv took a picture of that and sent it to him saying that i am not seeing on the small screen i am putting it on to a big screen and i am seeing it you know the thrill which he had and the comment which i made immediately he said shall i put it on to my group so that my family members will feel happy that there is somebody from hyderabad who appreciated uh, your song and the small child will become so happy right so i'm sure every single word matters dr tps looks at every comment without that without my approval i will not post it the reason is i wanted to see i i wanted to see that is how i even look at my paper reports of my lectures because sometime the paper reporter will write something which oh make me to recognize oh this is what i told i may not even remember right so it's very essential appreciation compassion love positive communication you have it but you don't show doesn't make any sense i may die you may die tomorrow what is the point in saying that i loved you and i am not able to express it it is not correct you are in a world where communication has to be open appreciation expressing the gratitude encourage and support yeah i am going to share this to people right that has to be there some people are there when you when you say that yeah i already know why are you sending it you understand that i am communicate to 100 people i am using a broadcast if you don't save my number you will not get it if you save my number if you are getting it understand it is not for you it is for a public that's why i told i am broadcasting already i told this so recognize the strength of all that facility which you have today there are lot of facilities in which you can communicate to many number of people 
today probably what i did is the morning discussion what he had i posted it on to youtube but i made a small slit of it and made it on to my fb as a reel because a reel is a something new which comes which attracts people so fast right so you have to be technically very good use all your possibilities empathy active listening if you don't listen you will have problem if i ask there are three people who presented the abstract today let me ask all of you at the end of this program don't post this onto the group or don't communicate all of you send me the message which are all the three people which are all the abstracts at least the heading you send me so that you know who is the effective effective e effective and a effective yesterday i told you who is the e effective and a effective communicator whether you got the title very clear if you did not it is not your problem if 100 people are there 60 people got it i am a good presenter if only 10 people got it i am not a good presenter this is what you should do the active listening how much is happening when i speak whether there is a conflict when i speak to parents whether there is a problem whether somebody is using a bad word somebody told that students are using bad words what should i do there is a conflict the conflict is the child to the parents child to the society child to the academic institution so you should have love you should have compassion and accept people unconditionally everybody need not to be same because we are all coming from same not same factory similar factory but we are all differently manufactured right not like a machine so everybody need not to become the same so accept people as they are but make some small improvement in that and your food habits the nutrition you have got shujita here he is a nutritionist so i am sure she understands the food makes the character yesterday also i told you rajik sik tamasik satik emotional well being your character the way in which you react everything matters with the food understand so you can have a research on that what sort of food habits children have what sort of uh, you know behavior they have i may do it a great an extent of different uh, scenario like uh, i use astrology i use different methodology to understand people that's a different matter so use your kindness encouraging words constructive feedback and active engagement if there are no group activities in your classroom your classroom is really boring okay so this is what makes people to now i will come to the next next uh, next topic multicultural multilingual multi literature can be implemented in your classroom especially people from cities i am sure most of the people who joined here at least if you do a survey among your children there will be five or six different language students i am sure you can uh, make all of them to interact with each other talk to them in different languages that is why in informal education new education policy wanted to cultivate a different language i am mentoring some students from jammu kashmir how to learn south indian language tamil because their intention was tamil and the they don't know the difference between tamil and malayalam they wanted me to do tamil i said i agreed for that so the inclusiveness of understanding appreciating different cultures will take them a long way in creating a great social situation in a structure like india it is very very essential it is breaking out so you as educators have got a great role to play multicultural multilinguistic multi uh, customs traditions um, what not you can add whatever multi 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 you want okay so the language work uh, mode in which they include you add all of them together i am sure i have defined probably 10 to 15 number of research problems now each one of them is a problem each one of them you as an educator your uh, involvement with the parents grandparents children everything can be taken care of i thought i will finish by 9 o'clock it is 9 8:59 good enough now you can ask a lot of questions i think that's what i want from you everybody died or what hello yeah i am seeing doli yeah. if i missed somebody if they have sent me some uh, abstract and i missed it you can tell me i'll i'll react to that now yeah doli tell me doli you introduce yourself doli yeah i am doli and i am working in ampersand group 
again about... again this is a pan india place so you should tell yes. where are you from understand i'm from mumbai yeah and uh, i just had a thought that when we were talking about nep and we are talking about teachers and educators but the thing is that majority of our children and teachers are coming from a government schools so as a major issue which we face rajani mute yourself rajani can rajani can mute please just thinking can uh, we have a abstract or a research on how training is so important for the teachers whether it is a government teacher at any stage or any wherever the teacher is and how important the training teacher is in comparison to only the curriculum which we give so how to create a bridge between both by giving a good content and the execution of that content So I was not able to see I still not able to connect it well but this is what I'm looking out for which can go over in many of the government schools or it may go to where they are not having much exposure we all are from a cream crowd a strata where we all are giving a thought on going there and understanding the more thing yeah there are there are lot of people in this world who are giving training one of the biggest problem in india is we have lot of educators who are unqualified who are all fake who are all marketing you know your certification is not what makes you a great teacher it it needs lot of Uh, not devotion getting into the field understanding working with the children lot of experience gaining with them right so what exactly probably you should do or maybe anybody to do is today there are a lot of digital content ask suggestion from different people take a take a demo class talk to them understand whether you are very crisp clear without mistakes you are able to make your communication perfect otherwise i told you no we have got a ramakrishna mat here in which one of the english teacher was made to talk on communication then she picked up the subject called you know the importance of body language i have seen the video in which her hand was like this for one hour and the topic is how important is body language right <laughs> only that the the lips are moving nothing else and the topic which she talks about is body language you can imagine naturally people will have this right it is not i am doing it knowingly naturally when it says it comes my hand comes here because you are a genuine natural without sophistication without artificiality it comes from the heart understood i i'll tell you there are a lot of people when i go for presentation they ask where is your powerpoint i keep saying i have only powerful points and no powerpoint <laughs> it is not that dr dps did not use powerpoints i have got thousands of them which i have used in my probably in my early early times and not even that what i do is i i have got lot of papers written sheets written in which you can see lot of small small notes which i create and then keep it here understood if i have to talk about the importance of education annadanam param danam vidya danam adat param अन्न क्षणिका तृप्ति यीवं ज विद्यया हाउ डिट ई लर्न दिस ऐव रिटर्न डाउन वेन ऐ वाज ट्रावलिंग वेन ऐ वाज सिटिंग इन द रेलवे स्टेशन ऐ बाय हार्ट अटेट सो ऑल दीज आर सम स्टिप्स लाइक दिस यू कैन हंड्रेड्स ऑफ दम नॉट नॉट वन और टू नो ऐव गॉट ह्यूज नंबर ऑफ सच स्म स्मॉल स्ट्रिप्स विच ऐ यूज इट फॉर मै लर्निंग अर्लियर वाट डू ऐ डू ऐ कीप इट इन मै पॉकेट रफर इट वन एंड देन चैन टूडे ऐ डोट रिक्वेर बिकॉज ऐव डन थाउजेंड्स ऑफ दम लाइक दट रईट अन्नदानम परम दानम द बेस्ट दानम इज अन्नदानम दट इज वाट इज रिटर्न इन मोस्ट ऑफ द टेम्पल्स ऐ कीप सेंग यू पेंट इट इफ यू कैन बिकॉज दैट इज नॉट द एंड ऑफ द स्टोरी दर इज अनदर फ्यू मोर लाइन विद्यादानम तत्परम हयर दैन दैट इज विद्यादानम अन्न क्षणिका तृप्ति दैट विल सैटिस्फ यू ओनली सम टाइम yavad jeevam ja vidyaya i am sure none of you who attended my session here can forget dr tps in your life try if you can 
I am an impactful teacher. I have got students who are following me years together. They may not react now. What do they do? They come back to me after some time. So what is to be done? You are supposed to make your impactful classes. It doesn't matter what do you teach. I teach maths or physics or chemistry or biology. It doesn't matter. So I will tell you most of the training. Why did I say this? Most of the trainings are talking about the content delivery. I am not here to talk to the content delivery. I am not here to take you through one road. The road is very good. And we have got a beautiful road. You cycle here. No. You cycle there to learn cycling. So that any road you can cycle tomorrow. So most of the time our trainings in government departments. I was also part of government. You know, 20 years I worked with central government. In which academics itself I was there as a consultant, educator, adulthood, adult education. I was an advisory board for long years. I was there in senate and syndicate of different universities. I was there in academic staff college. I have seen millions of teachers. Not a small number. Millions of teachers. Whole Navodaya Vidyalaya I got uh, teachers. I, I did training for all of them. Most of the time it is subject oriented. Most of the time it is content oriented. But it is not the delivery style. Therefore what happens? You will miss the delivery in which you have to do that so that the people absorb it and accept it. 1970 children were eager to learn. Right? Nine, 2000 children are eager to get certificates. So they don't want to learn anything. Even in even in an engineering college, I was a professor and I was also executive director. If you look, ask them to fill up a form. I did this. A survey of all engineering colleges where I went. I asked them to fill up a small form. What you want to be in life? They never fill it up because they have no intention to become anything in my life. That's what they say. If you call them and ask, you know, where do you want to work? No, it doesn't matter. Where do I work? How does it matter? Because they know they're they are not in the real world. So what happens? All your blah 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 lecture delivery doesn't work there. And our education system, what we do is we have got a free pass. Everybody passes. Even NEP made it much more worse. So what will happen? When you are doing a test or examination, what is test and examination? There are only two categories of people in the world who conduct test or examination. One is teacher, next one is doctor. The doctors conduct an examination or a test in a laboratory. We also do it in an exam hall. Suppose the result comes and then say that it is only 30%. For a doctor, if the parameters are too low, he will not, he will not leave them to go from the hospital. They will get admitted to them. They will not give a discharge certificate. But as teachers, what do you do? We give them a discharge certificate to send them to the next class. So from one pay ward, they will go to the next pay ward. There again they are tested. Another disease will be there. So by the time they reach 10th class, they are with a lot of chronic diseases. And when they come to engineering college, it is much worse. You know when most of the engineering colleges, minimum 50% mathematics is required to get an admission in engineering colleges. A great state in Kerala where I was in 2000. Uh, 11, 12, 13 as a executive director, government decided if you have a, got a, a entrance examination, hall ticket is good enough to get admission in engineering colleges. Because nobody was passing, nobody was attending, nobody was able to get, so many seats are vacant. Understood? So what is the point in training teachers there? Because the students are not good. So you have a great responsibility. What is the responsibility? You have to make your children to pass only when they get 100 out of 100 in the whole knowledge. I am not talking about syllabus, subject and all that. What you delivered. That is why I said, how do you test this? You don't ask question and say whether it is true or not. Tick this. Like what I said now. There is a Nanes principle. If you have not read, read it. Nanes principles of delivery. Nanes principle. I am supposed to ask any one of you today here. Let me look at Smriti Agarwal. I am seeing you on the right top. Or Shruti Revi. I am seeing the, the two on the right top. Tell me yesterday what did I teach you? Okay. So, even today, 
were telling us about the basics of research, the kinds of research. Uh, you're telling us the components of research. Enough. Stop. Next, uh, Shruti can tell the next three, but not these three. Another three. So you muted. The next person three. I said no two people. You three, good enough. The next person, another three. And next, anybody else? Any volunteer? What did I do yesterday? Another three points. Yeah, Shalini. Smart. Shalini was the first yes, one sir, to... Yes, you taught us about... Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, you taught us about the... Like, how we let the uh, children don't cry. Why... Like, I like that thing very much. Good enough. Like, one point is good enough. Uh, in, like, video on... This. Yeah, one point is good enough. Video See... On, uh, big screen. Good enough. Good enough. See... Yeah, it was actually very great because... Uh, uh, like when I joined at that time, my son was very small and when we, I entered into school, children are crying like anything because uh, that was COVID, the starting and this is such a great idea like uh, for uh, giving them a happy, a happy starting Yeah. and uh, all the things about the research and all. See, what do you do is I want to only demonstrate. This is a method in which to check whether you are good. I am not testing any one of them. My delivery was correct. Assume that there was one point which I thought is very important where nobody could capture it. What should I do today? I should start with that. Understood? This is called the Nanny's principle. I am not talking from heaven. These are all principles which I learned in my life. I, I understood the education system very systematically. I don't know how many of your teachers, trainers, the Sharni, you can mute, beta. How many of your teachers, trainers really learn Nanny's principle, Maxwell's principle, so many principles are there which are all very great in which in your day to day activity which you can put barring your uh, subject content, barring your syllabus, all that doesn't matter. I am sure you are very good in understanding the subject and the delivery. But the methodology in which you can make your classroom fantastic has to be really worked upon. Anybody can do it. Forget about the... We need a lot of people who will go to... I, when, I, when, I, when I go to small village... I go to small villages. The other... Last time I was called for inaugurating a, a school in Diogar. I know Diogar. We have got a Devagar. Actually, it is Devagar. But the new name is Diogar when people call it. Right? The Devagar, there is a beautiful temple. So, I was very thrilled to go there. But then I said, I am not coming just for inauguration in which half an hour is my job. Identify a school in the remote area where three days I will spend. I went there. Because I am sure that school is not going to take my airfare to take me from Hyderabad to that place. So I uh, took that leverage and asked that owner to take me to the village school. And I spent three days. Understood? So I am sure if, if you are willing and there are people who wanted this to happen. I think we should create our own models. I don't say that, no, this is not happening, this is not well, that is not good. No, I am not for that. I am always for making things happen in the way which I am I am doing it every moment, every day. That's what I do. Yeah, I think I am seeing a lot of hands. I spend a lot of time because it's very close to my heart. Right? <laughs> day in and out I am doing it. Yeah. Yeah, you, any one of you. Shalini is there. Anamika is there. Rajani... Regi uh, whom, whom you want? Shalini? S-A-L-I-N-I. Shalini? Yeah. Anamika? You are not able to unmute or what? Premalata? And there is yes, doctor. Yesterday, one more thing which was very, very interesting was about the observational research wherein we bank on theory and the experimental research. How these things are different and also the four aspects that you told about belongingness and becoming and yeah. connecting to social and natural connections yeah. and working with hands especially. Those things were very, very interesting from yesterday's class. What I will do is yesterday's video, you will see in the comment, I will make a small gist and then post it there also. It's very easy for me. I can just write it down because I'm I'm very good in you know, the comprehension job. So what I will do is I will make a comprehension of what I spoke yesterday and then post it onto the YouTube. That's and um, Anamika has got an assignment now. Tell me the three abstracts which you are discussed today in the beginning. What um, 
are the three abstracts vasundara and another one was rajani and the next one i am not seeing her here so i am not calling anupriya i know the names because i i spoke to them quite a lot number of times yeah tell me the three abstracts anybody uh, the first one is uh Uh, Rajni ma'am's uh, language uh, on uh, language uh, Kannada language. Kannada language. Good. Uh. And uh, second is Anupriya. Yeah. Uh, is um, with uh, parents, uh, parents and uh, parents and teacher coordination and parents and uh, kids coordination. Yeah. Bonding and something. Wonderful. Okay. Yeah. And uh, third I didn't get. Yeah. Anybody who got third? Sorry. Uh, third one was the play based instruction by Vasundara yeah see why am i doing it i'll tell you why am i doing it the title of the paper the title of the abstract has gone into you once when they were presenting but now what has happened you know it has gone many number of times in your mind do you use this technique in your classrooms use it every day your students will become so brilliant and bright you know what i used to do i was not at all a good student i was thrown out of any school being the worst student when i was in 8th grade i am not a brilliant student i never studied in nursery lkg ukg i started in 5th grade 1 because i am from a small village malayalam medium but there was a great institution a model institution for brightest students which started in a place under government i was selected by writing competitive exam i went there there was 27 children and i was always holding my rank you know which rank you can hold without effort <laughs> that's the last rank <laughs> so i was continuously consistently good in holding that 27th rank i never knew the headmistress headmaster is going to give me a nice love letter saying transfer certificate get out of the school i have given an option either to get out of the school with a pass or fail and then continue here i opted I was a chief guest in the same school after becoming a scientist they called me as a chief guest in the same school they never knew that I was an old student there right so i am telling i was not good in 10th i was not good in 12th but then when i started my graduation first year what i used to do is after the teachers class before the other teacher comes to the class i will go to the board and explain what the earlier teacher taught us let that be english let that be language classes let that be physics statistics or mathematics i repeat and then make a gist of the class how carefully you have to sit in a graduation class to do that and i did it and later principal used to call me as a guest for many of the programs he says there is a great speaker than me you call him i was honored by principal to become a public speaker that's why when graduation second year in place of principal i went for inauguration of mathematics clubs in different places so i'll tell you this comprehension use this today onwards in your classroom after you speak make children don't allow single smart fellow to tell all the time now i will tell you another technique now smriti spoke to me i don't know all the classmates but smriti knows all the classmates smriti knows who is the most dullest person who may not answer i give an option to smriti suggest somebody else who cannot answer in the class immediately smriti will tell somebody's name and if that give that answer you know during interval you can see them fighting and that will become for what you tell me what did you tell your whole class will become lot of activity oriented to programs i do such workshops in which everybody gets involved and ultimate the result is what you don't have to repeat many times you only tell once the rest repetition is done by students and even after once you tell immediately ask somebody else tell me what did i say just now finished they will have to repeat it so you know how carefully you do this and what do i do to teach english to the malayalam medium students what did i do i projected a cinema english cinema after 3 minutes i will stop it and i'll select 1 2 3 3 of you come last scene you have to act here the dialogue have to be by heart they will be very carefully sitting and writing 
can you imagine somebody sitting in a classroom writing all the dialogues because they don't know when they will come <laughs> they will be caught for it no i i do enacting i do lot of such activities that's what i do i, I can take lot of examples to and show how english has to be taught how mathematics have to be taught uh, how chemistry has to be taught how physics have to be taught you can see lot of examples dr tps english dr tps mathematics dr tps chemistry you will see lot of classes sample classes like this i am sure you can make your class very very active you don't require a trainer from somebody else you need a few triggers throughout your life few examples are given rest you will make it yourself creativity is not to be learned from somebody you have to be creative that's it correct yeah yeah anybody Yesterday, it was like uh, you cannot give me the taste of water. I have to feel it. Yeah, so I have to feel it. Creativity, you are giving that example. Yeah, glad that you reminded. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to ask. Twenty uh, seconds roll. Twenty seconds roll. Always keep water beside your children. See, when I used to do camps, I give one bottle of water to all the children, and before lunch, if they don't finish. i will open and then pour in their mouth 100% they have to finish it make sure that your children drink a lot of water in classroom use washrooms very carefully very systematically don't ask them your waste in your bowl is not to be carried home back you can dump it in the school for which your washroom has to be so neat I worked with a very rich man. I, I don't know whether I told you yesterday or not. Did I tell you that? Yeah, you mentioned a rich man. Yeah, a rich man who runs a school, and he will come to school for inspection. He will put his hand in the WC and smell. That has to have soap smell. Rajini, don't hold your mouth like this. He has the largest construction company in Bangalore. That is Shobha Developers. PNC Menon who is one of the richest man who construct palaces abroad he runs a school in Kerala and what he does is he will put his hand in the WC of his servant maids WC and then check whether they are cleaning it or not after every use with soap it has to be cleaned and the washrooms and the wash basin WC size is child adaptable i told you i don't know whether you have seen that icon i spoke about icon look at that you will see those commodes you will see i have pictured them to show to each one of you how the dance room has to be how the design has to be i was part of them as a csr i have learned many things from people like them if anybody has got a plan to make something i will be that at your service i i have worked with such people lot of experience in designing the classroom the technology in which people have to make your classroom good the classroom arrangement everything has to be learned yeah it's a, it's a one of the good points i am saying you can see why am i discussing this the ambience of the class your culture which you generate the neatness in which you create all that goes as a message to the children and if you make it in your classroom they will go back and do the same thing at their house i am sure i irrespective of whether you are from a village or from a city the parents will appreciate oh this is this lady who is your teacher i want to meet her they will come and meet you that will be one of the greatest awards and honor which you can get in your life got it so don't discipline Hundred percent discipline has to be there. Discipline doesn't mean keep quiet. Don't shout, keep quiet, keep quiet in your class. You keep quiet first, so you become a role model. If when you shout and ask somebody to keep quiet, you are doing a conflict. You are conflicting yourself, contradicting yourself. Don't ever do that. You give me three hundred children in any of your schools, I challenge. Without telling once keep quiet, I can make them to keep quiet. The number of hours which you dictate, I will do it. I have got lot of work. Uh, workshops in which i did that it's very very simple yeah anamika premalata rajini is always hands up anyway i have to put my hands up like this now 
Yeah. Sorry, sir. No, 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 no issue. No issue. I'm just joking. Sir, yeah. uh, tomorrow I I I will show my uh, trick, sir. Uh, I'm Don't just working on see. My... Even today, uh, what has happened in the afternoon only? All the abstracts came. Why can't you send it today? Why tomorrow? Everything is tomorrow, right? Send it today. Finish your job. Ah, uh, no, sir. I uh, I show your message afternoon at afternoon, sir. Just make a draft, draft, uh, write it, uh, iterate no, it. I, I just, uh, yeah. I just want feedback from uh, your side. Definitely, I'll do that. But is it okay or no? My my paper is okay. Or See, no? US was too large, and I am too a small man to correct a large paper with a great knowledge around. Right? Understand that itself. I will take a little time. So that is why I I asked you to make a brief about it. If you make oh, a brief, okay. see, I I like to tablets. I don't like big bottles of uh, no rasayanams. So it, it's uh, such a big uh, theory. So I, uh, I I am unable to sort it. I am actually unable to sort it. Yeah, that is what you should learn. I don't know how many of you know there are ekas loka ekas loka for Ramayana also. Do you know this? No, sir. Baby. See, Ramayana is Ramayana is such a. I have got a beautiful book. I wanted to show you this. Look at Nitya Sloka, Doctor TPS, in which I have caught. I have only collected different slokas and put them in a sequence. I am very good in putting the things in a very documenting. I am very good. So what I did was, in which you can see Ramayana in four lines. Understood? Okay. This is Sanskrit, which you can look at it. But Adho Adho Ram Tapo Vanadi Gama. Ah. Yes, you know this. If Ramayana can be put in four lines, yes. Your subject of research cannot be put in one paragraph. You have to hold your hand here, take it back, and then take it fast in your face. That is what you should do. Nobody else can punish you. Atau, ah, if you know, you chant this. Ah, hatu amr gam kanjenam, ah. Then. राइट आई रोट एन इंग्लिश आई रोट एन इंग्लिश वर्षन ऑफ दट रामण हनुमा गैदर्ड ए ग्रूप ऑफ मंकीट गोज लाइक दट ऐल से और लुक एट डॉक्टर टी पी एस इंग्लिश रामायण यू विल सी ऑन यूट्यूब यू विल एंजॉय इट यू कैन टीच युअर चिलड्रन दे विल लव इट Okay, so similarly, Mahabharata also we have. So you must know prasi writing. That's a minimum qualification for a teacher. Prasi writing. You ask every English teacher, they will tell you. Understood? You must be good at. See earlier, what I do used to do is read newspaper, write one line. And end of the week, I have got only one page. The whole week news will be there. and there used to be employment news in which one week news will come i match with them and then see oh i am good in analyzing news that's how my thrill was so you must be able to make uh, precise try yeah. not try just do it it is not that i cannot make it i can just make sorry. it in a few minutes sorry <laughs> but i want you to do that because it is such a paper i am sure you can do it abstract should be abstract And uh, sir, yesterday you suggested that uh, uh, we have to make uh, some model school uh, yeah. in which uh, we uh, put our all good uh, methodologies and uh, show the people or show the society is a result, better result. Yeah. So I, I am very much interested to do this. You tell me where are I'm you? I am also working on it. No, I'm, you tell me where are you? Put it in or my school or me. Where are you? Which place? Uh, I am in uh, Odisha, Sambalpur. Sambalpur. Okay. You tell me when do you want me? Uh, sorry, sir. You tell me when do you want me there? Uh, yes, sir. I, I plan. I plan. <laughs> you tell me the date. I will be there. That's how it should work. Okay, sir. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. This is a beautiful book with a lot of slokas. I have written in English transcript so that everybody without language barrier can read this. And every sloka is explained well. One page, one page on each sloka on rare slokas. Doctor T P S. Look at there are nine zero blogs by Doctor T P S. Each one is different. This is on sloka. That something else is on book. You can read that. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Th
Come on, next, somebody else. Good enough? So I expect, no, uh, what I thought is today at least there will be 10 abstracts. So that that will fill one hour. That's what I want. Three, great number. I'm sure there are at least five or six people who had sent me a topics. I have sent some content, asked them to write about it. There are some people who have sent me large volume of things which I ignored. Uh, but the, the, somebody has sent me a paper written, but still I have... I have read it and then transcript was done, edited and then send it. I am sure we can work on this. I have no problem. I am ready for whatever fashion you are, wherever you are, I will uh, uh, give whatever possible things which I can do. No. But don't hesitate. I am sure all of you have got ability. All of you are highly experienced. Write down and then send it. Very, very essential. Rajani was so uh, reluctant in the beginning. She said, no, let me discuss with you. I said, no, unless you write, I am not going to discuss. And immediately came so many pages, right? And I said, you call now. Once you have written, calling becomes easier. So that I know when you speak, I pick up that, that sentence, I will post it there. Next sentence, I will post it. Next sentence, I will post it. Finished. The abstract was ready. I did not write anything in Rajani's case. I only picked up from here and there. Because you were talking, I was looking at all the pages parallelly, searching for the te uh, technical term, pick up that sentence and post it, then reformat it. That's it. Nothing else. It's very simple. <laughs> okay. So write it down. Write it down. Very, very essential. All of you can do these write-ups. Yeah. Good enough? Masuda slept or what? Is your principles of delivery is it for public speaking no no that is that is that is uh, the when you start the class huh? see in between you must have heard many times talking about the doctor tps that is to grab your attention you understood why introduction is given formally which i did not allow masuda yesterday the introduction is to grab attention which you will have to do in your classroom. So that Nane's first principle says grab attention. Don't start your class without attention. How do you do that? You can clap. Maybe you can talk about something which happened in the city. Depends on which level, which, which level your children are. So Nane only will say grab attention. Nane will tell you what you have done so far. See, generally teachers will say, yesterday we have did this, we have learned this. No, you have learned I have learned, but how do I know you have learned? I have to test this. Nane will not tell you how to implement it. So I have, I have looked at it very carefully and then tell you just now, tell me what did you learn yesterday? So assume that one child was absent, the child will be very eager to hear it from somebody else. And you know, before you go to class, before the class starts, all of them will discuss each other to tell, tell me what did you learn yesterday? You please remind us. Let us discuss so that when teacher asks me, I am able to answer, right? So the friends will always discuss with what happened in the classroom yesterday. And after the class, generally, what do you say? Today we learned this. No, I don't know whether you learned this or not. So what did I do? Tell me what did you learn today? That you can make people to talk to each other. There are a lot of such things. To make communication better, you know what do you do? You make children to make different groups. How do they make groups? You tell me the smartest people in the classroom. Four people, five people I want. The five one who comes, ask them to select their own groups. And you will see the last four, five, five people who are not called by anybody. They are the most dullest people probably. Next day, make them as leaders. And ask them to select their groups. So you are giving the brightest fellow to make the groups. You are also making the next day the dullest fellow to make the groups. Understood? So a lot of interaction will start developing so there are different methodology which you can adapt in your classrooms so nane only will say make your communication better see for example we have got a great traditional chanting which says acharya padam adatte padam shishya somethaya padam sab brahmachari bhya padam kalakramena cha anybody heard this 
anybody who heard this who can explain i am not asking about uh, somebody who attended my class many times acharya padamadate from an acharya you must learn one fourth knowledge padam shishya somedaya the children have to learn themselves one fourth padam sa brahmacharibhya with the group activities you have to learn one fourth padam kalakramenaja the rest things you can learn only after some time so 75% knowledge is good enough that's why we call it as distinction distinction is good enough 90% 99% they are getting because you are making your question so simple nobody should get 90% that means you are not a creative teacher if everybody is above 75 wonderful very good above 95 your questions are very simple that's what it means okay so acharya should give only one fourth the rest learning is not by from you either it is by themselves from home or maybe they create their own activity and learn and the rest can be by discussions so your classroom should be having lot of discussions around if it is not there it is not a dynamic classroom so nane will tell that you know you should have group activity how are you going to do it you mix both east and west that's what i do i have a western education and education system learning i have looked at what the world is doing i also have got a very strong eastern philosophical background with me so i mix both of them in my classroom i that's what i propagate also around yeah it's 9:30 9:36 masuda don't want to yeah look around all that all the slokas which i chant most of the uh, messages which i gave maybe somewhere or other it will be there in my youtube you can look sloka subhashitam dr tps different classes on education nep all that you can see yeah anybody else uh, want to ask some questions or uh, shall we call it today anything shalini wanted to speak uh no sir no shuchita shuchita wanted to uh, say something Otherwise, Tata, bye bye. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Dr. Vijay. Thank you. Good night. So, see you tomorrow. I want all of you to write some papers and then send it to me quite early so that I don't have to struggle at the last moment. Right? You can do that. You can talk to me in case if you want. Yeah. Store my number. Store my number. Send a message. Otherwise, after the session, we will not meet. If you do that. probably you will be part of my uh, no uh, communication so that i can give broadcast messages to you and when you when you send me or call me oh i know this is the person yesterday so many calls and nobody is ready to send a message also understood so they should understand 8 o'clock i am joining calling doesn't work right but nearly 10 calls but i have sent the messages but they did not even join okay Thank you. God bless you.